Yeah, it looks. Yeah. Oh, let's go. <laughs> All right, let's see how these cars race. And we're on an appropriate track. I need lots of fuel. How much fuel did you say? Nine zero. Sixty. Oh my. God. Oh, mediums. That's a glitch. It's it's off now. Oh yeah, it is off. All right. I have an idea for a multi-class race that should be fun. LMP3 Cup versus Genetic Cup. Yep. What's up guys, Jack here cutting in and this video was from a live stream on Monday night after we did the ovals. We decided to use the glitch where once you're in a lobby and you have done at least one race, you can force select everyone in the lobby or everyone in a player group to use one car. So we switched into the net the Janetta that was just announced in the new update. It is already in the game and available. They just have it on a locked feature for their payment style where they want to drip feed the content, but the car is already available in the game. It will be a Forza GT car if you're curious. The PI starts very, very low. It is 722 PI on the base. We drove the car earlier. It's in a base form about 12 seconds off the pace at Daytona of the other Forza GT cars. But this car drives amazingly well, and it is so much fun to drive. It is one of my favorite cars right now. And I was speaking with Stevie Wara, and we are going to try and make these things into just a spec series. Janetta in real life has a lot of spec series. It's very similar company race on the racing side, at least to Mazda's. You know, you have the Mazda Cup cars and Mazda Road to Indy they used to have. Janetta has a very big baseline of slowly progressing so people up through their cars, and they, are, they even have an LMP1 in the game. We, uh, I will have content of the Mattress Simca coming up, which be prepared for a disappointment on that car coming up, and the Ligier JSP3, which is the old version, not the one that is currently What's running today. One? This is the one that ran in 2016, 2017, 2018, before they were upgraded. So... A little bit disappointing again with that not even the more modern version of that car just the older version so anyways i'm gonna get let you get back and just watch the race um these cars are really really fun to drive and i'm excited about this one but i have no idea how they're going to be able to balance this car in forza gt it's a naturally aspirated v6 and this car only has about 380 horsepower so it's going to be interesting to see how they try and balance it compared to a stock GT4 KTM. It's about two seconds slower when we tested it on Suzuka East. So hoping for the best that this car comes out balanced, but amazing to drive stock. That's all I got to say. I'll let it cut back to the live stream. Enjoy the rest of the show in the Janetta GT4. I just went deep into the head.
Stevie, I see what you're doing. You have brake lights. I think I just blinked for the first time all race. So I cannot see right now. At all. I can't see. Okay, the proximity of the is through the hand is crazy. Stevie, why are your brake lights on? Corey, are my brake lights on? He holds them. He holds them on during the straight. I'm not kidding. Yeah. I think if you're, um, I saw it too, it's like if you're a certain distance away, they turn off, but as soon as you get close enough, they can really It looks like he's holding the brake. Yeah. Maybe it's like the real life of it. Far away. Tap oh. them real quick, Stevie. Not to slow yourself down. I did the same thing. Did we all do that? Hold on, Stevie, 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 wait, 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 but now I will. Dang, I thought I was gonna be able to avoid you. This thing's got a long nose. Sorry about that. I'm trying to still learn. <gasps> I don't know what I did. You're too nice. Send it. Oh, you don't race with Stevie as much. Whenever, whenever Stevie's in front of me in GT4, like I feel like he intentionally slows down just to keep me somewhat close. If I'm in second, I swear he did it at Abu Dhabi on purpose, like three times. But in the, the last race, he did help me with that. He was me. He was nice. And let pulled me into the draft a couple times. I was like, yeah, Stevie. I can't remember which track that was though. Recently. Still have to edit that video, that's why I can't remember. Like, I had no issues with running into dirt until like the last three laps. I don't know why. Go get him, Corey. Wait, who's behind me? Oh, shoot, Crimp's back. Yeah, we drove into the gravel a couple times. These things do not like to push. I've learned that already. So when does this car get added next week? Yeah, yeah, one sec. And then, is there only three? Yeah, it's only three this one. That's, and that's it, that's the rest of the car pass. Yeah. I mean, what is, is there anything that you guys, like, I think the DLC in this is good, but I don't think these should be paid DLC. What year is this Janetta? 2016? Yeah, so like, should this really be a paid DLC car for a car that's 
that should have been in the last game. Yeah. Well, it's, it's entirely possible he did. This ex like these exact ones because in 2018 he still wasn't an F1 and he was at the Rolex 24 when he was 18 years old, I think. He, he was teammates with Alonso and Alicia LMP2. Bill Hansen was the other driver. I parked next to Lando and Bill Hansen um, at the track. The only reason I knew is because there was only two McLarens in all of Daytona Beach. <laughs> and uh, one of them was parked next to me and it went to the same hotel as I did where United Autos were just staying. So I saw uh, Alonzo on the way out. I took a picture with him somewhere. Um, he was very nice. His girlfriend or wife was taller than him. That's a fun fact. Noticeably. But he was a very nice guy. I asked him how the test went. He went, uh, you know, not so good. We're not very fast on the straight. And I was like, uh, it didn't look like it. I said, best of luck. And he said, thank you very much. Overall, Fernando Alonso, not douche. Not douche. Man, you still in here? Weed Man is not still in here. I'm excited to try the LMP3, though. So. Yeah. I feel like that is a very... I feel like it'd be more fun because the LMPC is so old. I feel like if no one would really want to do a spec prototype challenge series with that. Do you know what we could do? We could hop into Turks races and only uh, allow certain levels of uh, certain, what is it, driver level? Or the, the category, like Super Pro, Pro. Only let uh, whatever the lowest level is choose LMP3 cars, force traction control off, and ABS off. And then put the Super Pros in prototypes and then the Pros in GTs. And let the chaos ensue. Yeah, force them off, because they don't, they're not allowed in the, there's no TCS or uh, ABS LMP3s. That is a feature Project Cars 2, I think, nailed. They had an option in your settings that said re uh, realistic assists only. So if the car didn't have yeah. the assist, you couldn't use it. Yeah. That is a brilliant feature. I wish more games had that. I wish more money was invested into Project Cars too. Is it mod friendly? He enjoys that. Stevie has to be in the 47s.
That lap was pretty quick for him for me. I did a pretty good one on that one. What did I get? I got a 48.199.